Oh, there you go. Hi there. After we got out of English Mike Saint, the island uh, I was talking about earlier on, uh, we did a long trip all the way up to Nura Monastery, a white island called, and there's an island, there's a monastery on it in the 16th century, or 40, sorry, 15th century, no, sorry, 10th, 8th, 9th century, 9th to 10th century, that's 9th to 10th century, um, figurines, you know, carved stone uh, statues. Anyway, we got out of there, and on the way back, the sea was very rough, Tanya fell, the boat. I mean, don't have to say that. Right. It's okay now. And, uh, I'm not we okay now, actually. I'm in agony. Anyway, we were on our way. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't understand that. I thought I knew where I was going. I was a bit confused by the map. I didn't really know where I was going, but I had no way of knowing for sure where I was. I was a little bit lazy. I've been driving for hours. <laughs> a bit tired. And I went a little bit too close to an island and we ran aground. Badly. I couldn't get the boat to move. Off the uh, embankment, you know. Uh, there was nothing there to, sh to say that there was shallow water. There was no sign, nothing. I, just, I had no idea. Anyway, there's a 140 sterling fee for getting us out of there. Plus any, uh, uh, you know, uh, damages that have to be paid for. If there's any damage to the boat. Plus the fact we had no phones, no way of contacting anybody. Um, I put out the distress flag for a while, hoping that somebody would see us. There's no other boats around anyway. Nobody, nobody could see where we were. In, we were in trouble, you know. Tanya was complaining because she was her her back was hurt, and I was uh, <laughs> having to face the situation of trying of either staying here, of staying here overnight, maybe until somebody comes tomorrow, and you know, maybe or even the day after that. We could be stuck here for days. You know. Um, anyway, I started heaving and hauling the boat, pushing the boat basically using a, a wooden stick out of the. It didn't seem to be moving at all. I was doing that a lot for about 20 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Maybe it moved a couple of millimeters. I've no idea. And also, then I was steering the boat out, trying to get the boat out, with putting in the accelerator and so on. You know, it's messing around. We managed to get it out eventually. Then I had a big cheer, bro. <laughs> and um, now we're on the Inner Stavor now. It's a very nice place, you know. Um, but that's the, that's the story of today, you know what I mean? That's the story of today. Uh, I'm gonna chill like chill for now for the night. And um, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day now, but it, it was a bit rainy. I don't. The sea was very high earlier on. It's very very rough, but it wasn't out of control. Tang was the tang of fell in the in the roughness, you know. Pity about that. Anyway, that's enough. Thank you very much. Bye.